Hello everybody, I'm, this is Idris doing the actually, for once actually ever a let's play, when I let let's play, uh, let's quick look I guess, cause I'm not gonna actually, I've beaten, this is a fan game, and I've actually beaten this game already, but, um, cause it, it came out a couple days ago, it's, it's on Chrono Avenger, it's by from, by from Lake, 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 Lake Feppard, the person who made, um, Sonic before the sequel and Sonic after the sequel. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's my first time ever doing one of these stuff. And, so bear with me if I'm not very good at it. <laughs> uh, so, let's get on. So, I like this game. I like all the fan games he made because they all play like the Sonic plays. And, uh, you know, I, I love both Sonic Clock. For version of Sonic Classic and Modern, I've always preferred, I prefer Classic, but that's just me personally. I mean, I know people who love Modern, I know people who love Classic, but I don't know. Just the way it is, just the way it is. But anyway, this game actually has a little bit of Modern stuff in it too, get the boost, the boost is in this game, you get the boost shoes, but yeah. As you can tell, this game has uh, music from all the different games, but yeah. I've already beaten the game, so I'm like, I have a low average. 100% uh, file here. We're gonna start from the beginning. So let's go. So, I actually. Like I said before, this is my first time ever LPing, LPing something. So, I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. But yeah, um. This is actually really cool because. Um, this is a, basically like a. Uh, in Dimension game, it's really, it's really interesting. Sound, uh, Sound is also not the only playable character too, which is really nice. Um, so, let's go. Uh, let's see. So. Right, 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 right. <laughs> right part there. But anyway, yeah, um, so. What I like about this game is, is like it, uh, it plays at the classics, but it also has like um stuff that you don't you don't you don't expect from a classic game. Like this little this little this game with no levels actually, it's like basically a hub world. Like see, like all air, like it's basically all you do the whole entire game. There's no lives. If you die once, you're game over, and you start from the very beginning if you don't save. It's, really, it's an interesting concept. So um, uh, I can't get to that because it's a boost area. Oops. Alright, loan screen. That's my fault right there. That's my fault right there. I went the wrong way. I think I'm going the wrong right right way. But anyway, um I like the control scheme in this game actually really cool because like normally in classic games we have three buttons to spin dash, you can't use the spin dash glitching glitches in this game. But it's now think any 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 of the classic glitches are in this game. Uh, there's no vertical, there's no vertical screen wrap, there's no horizontal screen wrap. Can't use the spin dash the right way, the ideal way, because um, um, there's only one button to spin dash. You can't rip it up to three buttons like you can in the advances. And you have to tap it. You can, so like, if, the way the way uh, the ideal version of spin dash will be you use all three of the um, jump buttons and advances at the same time. It's it's the uh, faster to do that way. But yeah, we're just gonna do like probably like the first level or so. I don't know, just just to, just to hang out, just to get a hang of it. Yeah, I'm not really familiar how to do LPs. That's what that's, that's, that's not plan anyway. But yeah, bear with me, and we'll get we'll get through this. It's actually some really interesting platform in this game too. Especially when, like, the stuff you don't expect from a Sonic game. It's, it's, it's so few of, like, Sonic and not like any other platformer. So it's actually it's really nice. And, uh, that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen either. <laughs> anyway, um... That's experience. The red balls are experience, which I can't get. Well, actually, I can get right now. It doesn't really do experience-wise. I just know I can't, because I don't have the sword yet. 
the Khan gets a lot of different abilities in this game. He gets he gets a sword, he gets like like energy sword. And that was a bad jump. He gets like boxing gloves, which is really cool. He gets boost shoes, he gets a uh a thing where you can jump higher with your um and so this let's look at that. My on and on. But yeah. Here's like where the main st story goes. Like here's like they can do with the war map, you hit enter in the war map. The inventory which I haven't got yet. And like with um the animal to shoot with her here. And here's the question we got. Explaining how you buy things off the other shop. It's really nice. Really cool. So I already get 16 rings, that's not silver rings, which is big currency in this game. So let's get the let's get the fire shield. Alright. Yeah. Touch this guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I like how they use an unleash music, it's really nice. And here's the save points. I'm not gonna save on my file because I don't feel like it. And this guy was playing too with save points. Yeah. I don't wanna save over the file. Because the file I have is a 100% game, 100% file. Well, not 100%, I don't think you can 100% this game. But it's a completed file, I completed file, should just say that. Anyway, let's go on. Is going on the west side. Is the down look of the compass, which is really just interesting for a sign again. I don't think any sign. I think that Lake had an interesting, interesting design. Your choice for this game it was really interesting. So, but yeah. Okay, and I should have destroyed the bad net. That's probably been a bad idea. What the fuck? How that hurt me? Huh. Hey, can you not hurt can you not destroy it by like based on it? That's weird. I never really realized that. Alright. I think I'm going the right way. I think I am. This game is kind of confusing, and I'm not gonna lie. This game is really fun, but it's it's interesting. But it's not like any uh, like not like any fan game I play in a while. And it's built off of Sonic Worlds, so if anybody. Get a, anybody's good at making fan and wants to play and make a Sonic fan game, you, you I say use Sonic Worlds. It's a, it's it's the easiest Sonic engine to use if you want like a two like a classic fan game. Obviously, you can make fan games from other engines too, but it's my personal preference if you want to build a game like Sonic Worlds. Okay, one of cutscene. Yeah, I go into third dimension. Wild winter zone. Hmm. Let's go. Whoa, obviously I can't spin that very well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can't go that way because I don't have the sword yet. Feathers. Weird spike. A weird. A, that was a, that's a weird spike from ice. Ice feathers in this game aren't very well done. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It, it feels weird. But the bad news is actually really interesting. Can't blow it up, no, got it out of there. 
Get out there. Oh, great, great. That should not have happened. That was lame. Uh, also, the off the way time to pick the speed in the ice is weird too. Whoa, that's cool. Using English. This is actually what's the one of the original traps in the game. Yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna have any Final Game. And there is a, this from a Final Game. Let me know, cause I don't remember it. But I'm pretty sure it's the original. I think it was in. I think it was in after, after before the sequel. Or after the sequel. I'm not 100 percent too sure. And that should not have happened. <laughs> but yeah, here are the arrows. Found arrows. Not saving. And the cutscene. The bug. This is basically the navi of the navi or chip of this game. More like navi. Oh no, no. it's no more like chip. Could be tough. The navi says, "Hey, listen, you know that crap is boring." You yes, actually eat my chip. That's lots of food and chocolate and bias and crap. But yep, here comes the first real level of the game. And I already got it. <laughs> I can't just throw those yet because I don't have the sword, which I'll get later. They just have, okay, this platforming is kind of, I don't, I don't mind it, I mean it's more like Mario is, but, or any, any other platformer really, but it doesn't really bother me, I mean, vertical platforming is vertical platforming, it's what it is, I mean, you can deal, you can deal with it. Get up, get up. That was lame. I shouldn't have happened. Wow. Interesting touch. It's an interesting design choice there, the spikes. I can take it. I mean, I don't think any time has ever done that, to be honest. That type of spike movement. I feel like, I like that. So here's the sword. You can switch with, you yeah, obviously switch S to attack. You can switch with A and what, A and S. It's combos. You can't, but you can't spin dash with it. And, or, or spin jump. So, and you have a different running animation. It's really cute. It's like, it's like a modern running animation. It's really cool. I like it. And same with the, the boost is the same running animation. And you're much faster than normal running. When you when you want to, want to get the boost boost you obviously because of the boost, but if if it is better, it's pretty it's it's interesting. I'm actually gonna get a hit here, especially to get hit, or I should not. Why not? I wanted to get through it faster, but. I can actually, I can kill those now. That's nice. Whoa, no, 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 that was dumb. I don't know how I latch onto that wall. Um, so, that was what it is. That was what it is. Let me kill you. Oh, up the sword. And I jumped too far. Playing, I think playing on a keyboard is harder than playing because there's more lag time. And why am I on the wall? Playing on a keyboard is harder than playing with a controller. I'm not using my 360 controller because I'm, I don't have it with me right now. 
but um uh like I I've, I've never really been good on the keyboard. I whenever I play PC games I always use the uh, actual controller itself. But I don't have an army, so bear with me if I make mistakes gameplay wise. But I'm only gonna upload in one part, so this this is it, it's when I end off the video is where it happens. So this is a guy, this is a second pair of book character right here. You play as this guy later on in the story. This is the alternate version of Sonic in this, in, in this generation. So they can't, they can't spend jump, they can't all, all that, they're on the spin dash or anything. So, the name is Jerm. So. But yeah. That was the first, and that's the first level of the game. So. <laughs> yep, then that's what we're time travel. We're in the past now. And the song see you all over again without using the post. So it's, this, this, this is the space time rep right here. We can't actually activate that until we get uh, use it later. So we get like a inventory item later. The feather from the magnet. Magnet Eggman makes. Yeah, we're gonna end the video off right now once I get uh, end the video off right here. So let me guys know how I did and and see if I if I should continue. So if you want to continue this, let me know and I'll catch y'all later. Uh, once I and I don't know how to end this. <laughs>